Hello, my name is Ivan Velasco, and today I will be teaching you about the wonderful world of Marimba playing. Now you may be thinking, Ivan, I'm very, very tall, or Ivan, I'm very short. Is the marimba adjustable? Am I able to make it fit for me? And the answer is yes. You see, each marimba is powered by these small mechanic hydraulics that if you just take these little twisties off, I'm gonna hold it right here so it stays in place, it'll push up. Now some marimbas you have to manually push them up or manually push them down. But in this case, we're just going to keep it right here. So we're just going to put it righty tighty. And that'll sustain our height. And I encourage you to find out what is your marimba height. With this instrument, you want to make sure that you are using the proper mallet. By not treating this instrument right, you could potentially damage it. So for instance, you never want to use a drumstick. A rule I like to follow is never use wood with wood because that's going to break the instrument and we want to avoid that. Same thing with xylophone mallets. These are very, very hard. Even though they're called mallets, just like marimba mallets, that doesn't mean that you can use them on this instrument. This could also potentially break this instrument. So what we do use are these very, very soft yarn mallets. That way we can create a nice resonant sound and not damage the instrument at all. So if you want to play marimba, there are many different ways that you can play it. Steven's grip and cross grip, or even with just two mallets. So what I'm going to teach you is the Steven's grip. And what the Steven's grip is, is we take the mallet, put it in the center of our paw right there, and we just lay it down to where, or I don't know, the first two nuggets, we'll call them, are just right there, balancing it out, and we just place our thumb right on top. And then what we're going to do so we're actually just going to take the second mallet, put it right in the middle to where only about a quarter inch is showing. And you'll get this V-shape. And that is what we call the Stevens grip. Ah, now, whenever you get a marimba, it's always a good idea to check out what kind of wheels you have. It tells us a lot about where this instrument can go. For instance, this is a small wheel. So you primarily want to keep this instrument inside as opposed to a marching band marimba, which have these huge rubber tires that can practically go through anything, like it can run over a rock, uh, go through grass, even go up hills when you're at a competition. Isn't that neat? Now, though these bars may look super thick from the outside, as you can see, right over here, these bars are very, very thin because they have to produce a lot of tone quality. So with that being said, you never, ever, ever want to put any weight on the marimba that shouldn't be there, like putting stuff on top of the marimba or even leaning on the marimba. Finally, whenever you are done playing the marimba, you always want to remember to cover your marimba. Now, with covers, you want to make sure you have the top end part on the ground. This is the part that's normally going to get dirty. You don't want the inside part, the part that's covering the marimba to get dirty. Whenever you cover a marimba, always make sure all the corners are resting at the edge of the marimba. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it's helped you learn a little bit more about the qualities of what is the marimba playing world. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.